Trees are a vital part of our ecosystem. They provide us with a constant supply of oxygen while sucking carbon from the air. Spending time in nature offers an instant boost to our mental well-being. Not to mention the countless plants and animals that rely on them. Forests offer even more benefits. Redwoods help stabilize soil while providing nutrients to nearby plant life. Acacia woods give animals access to food when droughts ravage the lands. Mycelial networks help trees communicate environmental stressors. Almost everything we use is related to forests in some shape or form. Unfortunately, trees aren't shown the love and respect they deserve. Deforestation is a huge problem that we need to find alternatives to. Our overconsumption will ultimately be our demise. As climate change devastates the earth, our trees face an ever-growing threat. But there is hope. Using ecological protections, we can restore the environment to its former glory. Reforestation programs can aid in the recovery process. Organizations like One Tree Planted are putting agency back in our hands. So today, I want to break down the physical and psychological benefits of trees and forests. Also the steps we can take to help protect our natural world. If you enjoy this video, like and subscribe so you always see my latest content. One of the biggest benefits of forests is their unique ability to purify the air. Photosynthesis lets them absorb vital nutrients, which they convert into energy. A byproduct of this reaction is the oxygen we inhale. After we get a fresh breath of air, we expel our own waste in the form of carbon dioxide. CO2 is harmful to our atmosphere in large amounts. Luckily, trees are there when we need them most. These magical creatures also store carbon dioxide in their bodies. Forests take filtration to the next level. Young saplings absorb incredible amounts of CO2. Plus, they soak up excess carbon from the soil, which helps surrounding plant life. Even in death, rotting trees hold carbon deposits. What's inspiring to think about is the selflessness of the natural world. There's a beautiful symbiosis all around us we can take inspiration from. Forests provide animals with an overabundance of food, protection, and insulation from harsh environments. Ants use roots as footing while they transport fallen leaves back to their base. Squirrels and raccoons build their homes inside of holes. Birds, monkeys, bears, fish, and any other animal you can think of desperately rely on forests. All these creatures coexist using a shared enriching environment. If you ever go to a forest and notice the water is super clean, you can thank the trees for that as well. Contaminated drinking supplies can have serious downstream effects. Fish can become sick, which directly impacts those that eat them. Disruptions in algae can create toxic conditions. Luckily, roots help tremendously with these issues. When waste travels downstream, it gets caught before infecting drinking areas. They can collect grease, heavy metals, and toxic chemicals. Trees enrichments of river and soil also help with climate change. When forests enhance nearby areas, they also insulate the lands from erosion. Soil pollution is a huge problem in many water systems across the world. The canopies of forests can release stored water, which encourages precipitation. When rain levels increase, trees help reduce unwanted flooding. Ironically, trees are overconsumed when they are one of the best weapons against climate change. Another incredible feature of forests is their ability to reduce hot temperatures. Anyone who's experienced hot weather is always thankful to take refuge under a tree. Tall redwoods help insulate smaller ones until they are self-sufficient. Animals use trees to stay cool as they roam the savanna. Dangerous winds are cut down, reducing the chances of fire spread. So far, the benefits we've been talking about seem far removed from urbanized areas. Although, woods embellish cities in important ways. One growing problem of an industrialized world is noise pollution. Construction, commuting, and various other activities generate exceptionally loud sounds. Trees can reduce unwanted noise by absorbing sound waves. They can also help with energy conservation, which is so important. Overconsumption of electricity can lead to blackouts, not to mention the pollution resulting from energy production. Just like Batman, trees aren't the heroes we deserve, but they're the ones we need right now. Providing insulation from the heat also keeps electric costs low and prevents landscape erosion. Even someone who's economically driven can benefit a little more from greenery. Trees are inviting to companies and businesses. Homes with lots of green tend to sell better. Zooming out to a global level, we could see a need for trees. Soil degradation is a tremendous problem that impacts the food we eat. Many countries have poor water quality. Different species of wildlife are facing extinction. Whether it's to clean our air or reduce noise pollution, forests and trees have a multitude of positive features. Although the benefits aren't just physical, 
Walking through a forest can boost our spirits in a truly inspiring fashion. Whether you appreciate the cute creatures or wonderful flowers, trees have a little something for everyone. Listening to the sounds of birds or insects can induce a state of tranquility. Essential oils drip from the trees, bombarding our noses with a flurry of relaxing and uplifting smells. In life, we take many things for granted, especially the psychological benefits of forests. Looking at trees demonstrates a massive boost to our mental health. Those without any nature nearby miss out on a free form of therapy. In Japan, people take forest bathing trips for this reason. Another mental health benefit of forests is the sense of connectedness. Depression and anxiety feel very isolating. All these amazing creatures rely on us to some extent. Rescues and wildlife centers rehabilitate both workers and the environment. Anxiety is tough to deal with in a crowded city, but walking through a tranquil area can make a world of difference. Reducing our cortisol levels helps in our overall mental well-being. Walking or running can boost our mood, which is actively encouraged in nature. Seeing something exciting in the wild can make us want to go out and explore. Feeling connectedness while being alone is cathartic in a unique way. Forest healing and meditation are practices that reduce our overall stress. A lot of the physical benefits in nature also impact our mental health. A lessening of high blood pressure stabilizes our mood and combats depressive feelings. Reducing pain from inflammation improves our happiness. Let's go back to appreciating the selflessness of trees for a second. As they produce oxygen, they absorb carbon. This same cycle applies to our mental health. Forests not only boost our moods, they also reduce negative feelings. Anger is a pretty harmful emotion to our bodies. Being engulfed by trees offsets these emotions. One final way forests can boost our mental health is by putting things into perspective. Trees can serve as powerful inspiration for how we can act. They rely on each other in times of need, withstanding harsh environments. Some forests contain trees that have been alive for thousands of years. Surrounded by nature's beauty, we can all remember the strength and fortitude we possess. Although, if we want to enjoy the benefits of nature, we must do our part to protect the environment. Global warming is a serious problem that impacts our day-to-day -day lives. Our air, food, and water quality rely heavily on the environment. Trees and forests are especially susceptible to climate change. A lack of water eventually leads to a weakening of roots. Dry shrubs and brushes create opportunities for trees' biggest concerns. Bolivia, Australia, Siberia, the United States, and so many other countries have been impacted by forest fires. Understanding the interconnectedness of forests is important to recognize the value of conservation. Without trees, there is no shade, no natural filtration, and nowhere to make a home. This sentiment is true for humans as well. We rely on trees for so much. They enrich our air, provide us with food, and fertilize our soil. We already discussed the overwhelming benefits, but how do we protect the woodlands? Rewilding and reforesting seem like good places to start. Trees are a finite resource. Once we cut down all the trees in the forest, there's nothing left to collect. Reforestation is the idea that we could reduce the number of trees lost by cultivating new ones. Conservationists around the world help grow saplings to increase the overall numbers. Below I've linked to an organization called One Tree Planted. This remarkable program takes a single dollar and ethically plants trees for those in need. I want to use my platform to spread awareness, so I created the Very Berry Tree Squad. Our fundraising goal is $250, which I think we can meet. I encourage any of you watching this video to donate if you can. Even a single dollar goes to a wonderful cause. Rewilding is more of a generalized practice of letting areas return to their natural state. Mowing lawns might look aesthetically pleasing, but there are amazing plants killed in the process. Allowing wildlife to grow creates a healthier environment for trees to prosper. Creating protection zones also helps in this process. On a more interpersonal level, we can make changes in our consumptive behaviors. Buying recycled goods cuts back on environmental waste. Using certified wood ensures the product was created from responsibly managed groves. Going paperless can add up. Promoting sustainable energy is another powerful way to mitigate the impacts of climate change. Reducing our consumption of red meat helps lower the overall carbon in the air. Solar panels and hydroelectricity facilities let us produce energy without the heinous effects. Supporting environmentally friendly companies elevates life for so many. Also, we can pressure businesses to opt for conscientious policies. One of the biggest ways to fight climate change is by the politicians we elect. Voting, especially on a local level, can make a big difference. Choosing representatives that prioritize environmental initiatives can protect the forests you know and love. Many people aren't aware of how climate change alters their life. 
Spreading awareness lets all of us access more information. One final solution is to take things into your own hands. Gardening is an engaging way to give back. Not only do we grow our relationship with nature, but we protect life. Sprucing up your home by taking care of a tree makes everyone a little happier. Thanks for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Global warming is a huge problem we can't ignore. Trees provide us with an abundance of resources with virtually no cost to us. By coexisting respectfully with nature, we can heighten everyone's lived experiences. We can all make a meaningful difference in some shape or form. Spreading awareness, fundraising, and conscientious business practices empower those that need our advocacy. Amazing organizations like One Tree Planted are making the world a better place for all of us. Even though our individual contributions feel meaningless, they matter in the long run. Raising a tree from a sapling takes a decent amount of work, but forests show us why it's worth it. What do you love most about trees? What are some ways we can stop climate change? I'd love to hear from you.